guys, it's me Matthew, of course, of course, and in this video I'm back with some more Terraria, or Terraria, however you want to pronounce it. Anyways, um, I know I've been a little lazy with my uh, recording as of late, I ran out of my little stockpile of videos multiple times now, and had to restock, but yet again, lazy at recording. Um, and if you've been a part of this channel, or if you've watched this channel for long enough, then you'd know I'm absolutely terrible at sticking to a series. Um, but I don't want that to happen again. I've done this so many times that and I want to stay on top of uploading regularly, which I haven't done enough of. Um, considering how long I've been on YouTube, I'm still also very shy and uh, self-conscious about all my videos, still very hesitant to try anything new and, I guess, go outside of my box or shell that I've made for myself here on YouTube. Um, so I definitely want to work on that, and that requires me not giving up on recording videos like I've been doing for a while now, and I saw that it's been a little while since my last Terraria video, and knowing that uh, if I continue to put it off, I'll never get to it, um, I guess just solidifies the whole idea of, uh, I can't stop this time. I don't want to stop this time. So I'm going to try my best not to, and I have no intention of letting myself go against that again. Oh man. Anyways, oh boy, a shroom zombie. What I wanted to do with this video before I got interrupted and had to redo the intro um, is I wanted to focus on progression in this video because I've been doing a lot of expansion um, and a little bit of exploring but not enough um, in my opinion anyways so after this video I may take a little bit of time to myself to just expand the house a little bit since no one's really said anything of whether or not they care um, actually, I don't know, I'm still very much on the fence about that, but anyways, let's get started with killing and farming the Eye of Cthulhu, because I, uh, I need the ore that he drops. I don't know if he drops the scales or not. And I need to, uh, whoops, wrong buttons. Whoops. Okay, yeah, this musket seems to be pretty good on him. I need meteorite uh, bullets. Ouch. Okay. Okay, getting knocked around too much. I really should build an arena for this kind of thing. Ah, jeez. Okay. The idea here is, is that I keep uh, fighting him. I'll keep dropping ore, and I can use that to get money and build myself a full suit of, I think it's demonite, when it's corruption, um, but yeah, demonite armor. It's a shame that the little eye uh, minion things don't drop anything. I 
I don't know how well I'm going to be able to farm multiple of these in one night. Oh boy. Come on. Counterweight is not on my side. Now, he didn't drop the scales. That was what I was after. Mostly. I believe I can only get that from the Eater of Worlds. Which I need to farm the corrupted area for the resources to make that. Although I did get some of the corrupted ore, which is nice. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put my money in my piggy bank. I'm not gonna worry about stacking it, which it looks like it did stack properly, which is awesome. Um, I don't know where I've been putting the fallen stars. Have I been putting it in my piggy bank? Probably. Uh, let's see here. Probably won't be using sticky bombs or dynamites too much uh, in a boss fight, but I might. Actually, I will need them to get to the uh, orb things. <clears throat> And since the arms dealer in Dryad moved in, I can now buy musket balls. Perfect. Don't want to buy too much, but a thousand is quite a bit, so. And let's see here. Where is the corrupted area? It's way over there. Oh boy. Um, I may want to take another bed with me. Actually, that probably wouldn't really help me now, would it? Um, I need to take the rotten chunks and worm teeth. I don't know if I need to take anything else. I could spread corruption over here but that would require me either sacrificing the whole area to corruption or making a special area for it where it can't spread out of which would take a long time and i don't want to do that on video oh hey zombie arm Then now with these running shoes, maybe it'll be a little bit easier to get over there to the corrupted area. And stars. I'm not gonna go get that one at the bottom of the uh, pond there. I don't know the f what to call that. I almost. Not that it really matters if I cuss on these videos. Apparently, uh, YouTube, like, the bots listen to the videos. So if you say one word that they don't like, they'll censor the shit out of your video. Which is a damn shame. Hopefully, someone comes along that can make a competitor to YouTube without charging the content creators um because so far all of the options have required me to pay um and like the whole point is that the content creators bring people to the platform i kind of get it to at an early stage definitely and hopefully the um, platforms that are currently charging for people to be on their platform eventually opens it up and allows people who don't make money off of YouTube to upload. That's pretty much the only word that I can think of to contribute to the site. Uh, I don't know. There should probably maybe at least be some sort of 
application process, not just a price up front. Because there is an application process to become a partner on YouTube. Now if they expanded that to just allowing people on YouTube, I think that'd be a good route for other platforms to take anyways. Application process, not just to get paid, but to even be on the platform, which can also lead to the um, censorship and all that, but I don't know why the fuck I'm talking about all this on Terraria right now. I have uh, issues getting into certain topics a little too much, <laughs> even when I don't know that much about them, which I suppose a lot of people do that, so I'm mean, nothing unique in that regard. Okay, now that I'm here, all I need to do is kill these Eater of Souls. Kill all these thorns first. Rotten chunk. Yeah, I need to get rotten chunks and worm teeth. Fortunately, they're kind of stupid. I suppose in a way that's also fortunate for when you're just starting. Oh my goodness. My aim is stupid. I'm used to having like an insanely high jump on my other character because I've I actually looked into how to make more complex equipment items using the uh, Tinkerer's Workbench and all of that. Um, let's see here. Oh boy. Uh, I don't think I've been down there yet. That's not dangerous. Yeah, this is just regular dirt. There's something over there, so I should probably go to the left a little bit more. Specifically to look for more of the orbs. I don't remember what they're called. They might just be called orbs for all I know. But I need to destroy those to summon the Eater Worlds again. And hopefully not die this time. If I recall correctly, I died last time. <laughs> Ouch. So I've been down here before. So, there is one. Thankfully those don't hurt too much. I guess I need to start using the bombs already. Didn't bring a surplus amount. I guess I could have gone down there. Oh well. Oh, there's two of them, and a corrupted goldfish. Um, okay. What's that? Oh, just a skeleton. I'm going to try to do both at the same time here. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to get into that one first. Almost didn't move fast enough for that one. Okay, I'll 
let's get my hammer out. So I don't need explosives anymore. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. The strong vile thorn. Now that should make it a lot easier to attack and uh, kill the um, eater of worlds or whatever the fuck he's called. So I need to destroy one more. And it looks like there's one right over there. I may not have enough explosives. <laughs> before I spoke that time. Uh, for some reason, I like to bring up depressing topics when I'm recording. Something I need to stop doing. <laughs> or I need to turn into a political channel, which I don't know enough about politics to do that, but it also sounds depressing, <laughs> like all of politics. Uh, let's see here, annoying musket. Uh, I got two sticky dynamites. Oh, oops. Oh, Jesus. And this is why the Vile Thorn is really good against him. Look at those damage numbers. I'm actually doing it. see him, but I'm doing it. There's two of them right now. And one more. And I killed him. Unfortunately, I only have one more explosive left. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. This was not well thought out. This was the opposite of well thought out. Um, and I don't have enough either worm teeth or the other stuff. Crap. Well, I can do this at least. Well, yeah, 31 scales. Yeah, I can't mine through that. Um, I really should have thought about bringing a bunch of bombs with me. On the bright side, I did think about taking recall potions. Um, I am curious to see if I can dig through the wall. Um, we'll dig underneath it, because it looks like there's dirt underneath it. Good thing there's water here, otherwise I would have just died. I need to kill the king slime, too, so that I can get a better grappling hook, because this is not enough for someone as clumsy as me. Um, 
Okay, so I wanted to see if I can dig through. No. Damn it. Well, um, <laughs> I was hoping. I was hoping. Let's see where I am right now. The fastest way to get back here is to just walk. Hopefully the loot won't despawn. Hopefully. Talk to the demolitionist and um, buy like 10 sticks of dynamite and that's plenty of bombs. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Okay. I could probably have made a pick. I'm going to see if I can do that real quick. And yeah, nightmare pick. Now I can actually dig through that stone, so I don't have to worry about bombs, but I have plenty of bombs just in case. Oh man, I can't wait till I get the unicorn. It's not the best mount, but it is the fastest running mount in the game. And it has a triple jump. It's so nice, you can pretty much soar over everything. Although, the one mount that I haven't gotten that I really want is the UFO mount, which... This is all, like, after hard mode and... That uh, event is not that much fun, I gotta say. Um, I hope in the next update of the game, they tone down the Martian invasion, alien invasion event, because that guy is tough. Those constant UFOs are powerful. Especially for someone as bad as me. Like, tone down the AI if you're uh, the AI and or damage. If you're, uh, oh, I found the shopkeep. If you're on softcore uh, difficulty, character wise. Because, boy. Yeah, it's not a blizzard anymore. Speaking of blizzard, something I shouldn't get into. If you haven't heard about the stuff going on with blizzard, then I guess China's been doing their job and censoring it very well. <laughs> oh man, I can't help myself but to ruin my videos. Not that they were really that good to begin with. <laughs> uh, Self-deprecation humor is the best kind of humor. And the easiest. Hopefully the loot didn't despawn. Really hoping. believe I need to go down here. Okay. It's gonna take a little while and I probably should have gone down the other way, but it's worth the effort. And uh, I gotta say, another tip for this boss that I should have followed. 
don't fight him underground if you can help it. Make a floating platform high in the sky, or I guess clear out a cavern before you do it, because this shit is annoying. I feel like if it spawns in a solid block like that, when you're killing a boss, it should just kind of like float to the top of like the, the nearest air pocket at the very least. I think I got anything too special. Um, healing potions, a bunch more scales. Um, we know. A decent amount of scales and more ore. I don't know how many um, rotten chunks and worm teeth I need to summon him again. I might need a vile powder. Um, that would probably make sense. I think I have enough to summon him again, but... Let's see, I don't think it matters what time of day you summon him. He'll show up no matter what, so... It doesn't have to be nighttime. One, two, are there any more orbs? Yes, there's three, four. What's that? Or come on, let me out of here. There we go. Oh, a meteor landed over there. That's perfect. Um, after I'm done killing the boss one more time, I'll go for the meteor. If only these guys would stop spawning long enough for me to do anything. If only I wasn't so slow. I'm just trying to make a simple, easy pathway to follow out of here. Just a little bit. This one I'll be able to walk through, not get stuck on too much. Because you know me, I suck. <laughs> Easiest way to put it. Okay, so I'm going to put sticky, sticky stick of dynamite. Yeah, I could probably put another one right there. It might destroy one. Nope. Wow. Well, I got a shadow orb pet. Now I have light. Hurtful musket. Oh, I already have one of those. Okay. Oh man, there we go. 
and I can easily prevent that in the future. Doesn't take too much. Now what I'm going to want to do now is farm this guy if I want gold. Um, I never really looked up a guide for how to get gold um, that came up with this result. But I found early on when you need gold farming the second boss. Uh, after the Eye of Cthulhu, which is either the Brain of Cthulhu or the Eater of Worlds, uh, usually provides you with the ability to sell quite a bit of uh, ore, and of course the items that come along with it, um, for a ton of money. And another Shadow, uh, shadow Orb, he has awakened. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm not trying my hardest to uh, get out of that when I should be. Oh boy. I want to try to make sure that I only kill him when he's not in the ground so that I can actually pick up the loot from him. Exactly as planned, but it could have gone worse. Yeah, he's almost dead. Just gonna slowly try to get to uh, oh, perfect. drop uh, dropped anything special either time just more resources which is fine with me uh, now I need to see I don't think I'd be able to make a furnace out of uh, ebon stone. Probably needed to be regular cobblestone or just stone, I think, in this game. Um, which I could go through the process of doing that so I didn't have to leave to make it like a crafting area. But um, I'd much rather just not do that. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to make sure that I pick up some of these mushrooms, which I need to uh, craft the crafted powder, vial powder, or whatever. I think it's vial powder for uh, crimson. Oh, no, it's vial. Hmm. 
Is it vile for both? Not sure. But uh, each one gives me like five powder, so I think I'm good. So now I can go through my inventory and sell a lot of this crap. Which I mostly want to sell the loot outside of the uh, the ore because I need to build armor and all of that right now. But as you can see, 231 demonite ore is 18 gold. If you refine that down into the bars, it's worth even more. Uh, so it's definitely worth farming for. Um, the faster you do it, the better, of course. And I wasn't showing the best example of how to go through that quickly. I don't really need all this ebon stone. I don't want to sell all of it, but I'm never really going to use it. I might use it, so that's why I want to keep a little bit of it. But let's see, I need a bottle. Just a single bottle. Do I have a bottle station anywhere? Like a uh, alchemy station, it doesn't look like it. I need that to make the vial powder, and I only had enough for 13. Let's see if I have more in one of these chests. I, I, well, two more. That's not that great. Um, where have I been keeping the corrupted seed? I could make like a vial powder farm if I wanted to. It wouldn't be hard. I don't have to make a whole biome, just enough uh, corrupted grass. It to grow on. Now the objective is to find a nearby demon altar, uh, hopefully a nearby one. Okay, there's two right over there. So I don't have to go all the way back. Water gun, diamond ring. I would get that, but eh, I think I already have the magic hat. I don't need ultra bright, ultra bright torches. It's a shame he's not selling dynasty wood. He is like most of the time when I don't need dynasty wood, but when I need it or I really want it, he's never selling it. I guess that's how it is with like every situation like that. When you need it, it's never there. And that's what starts the hoarding mentality. <laughs> okay, so I need to, oh boy pay attention to where I'm going and how fast I'm falling and just get through this okay good I still have all the teeth and rotten flesh chunks in my inventory because that's not nasty and nope that's not how you do it. Let's go talk to the guide after I trade in the strange plants. Ooh, shadow dye. One of my least used dyes. Crafting. So I need, um, oh, I don't even need the worms. I need 30 vile power, uh, powder and 15 rotten chunks okay and i can also turn it into leather which i'm not sure what that's useful for but i can figure that out later now that i know that i need to go back and farm a bunch of those mushrooms 
and maybe make an area specifically for getting them. Just trying to see if I can auto sort as much crap as possible. Um, let's see. Put the actually no, I, I have a specific chest for all of this stuff. Uh, I don't need the worm teeth. I'm gonna take that that with me. Of course, the dynamite and the bombs. I'll put the eater of souls banner in there because I don't need it. Um, put my golden stuff away because I don't need it on me. Along with those stars. Mute myself so I can clear my throat, which didn't help too much. Uh, a little bit better, maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Okay, well, um... So, bring all that with me. I need to bring a glass bottle and preferably a platform to put it on because you can't put it on the ground. It needs to be on a platform or a structural object like, uh, or I guess furniture. I could take a whole fucking table with me, but that seems a little unnecessary. Okay, there. Single rich mahogany platform. Hopefully that's everything I needed. I don't know why I gathered all those mushrooms, but yeah, I can make a uh, mushroom workbench if I feel so inclined. Oh yay, that one hat that I've been searching for from my other character. M metallic. That looks stupid, but I like it. That's better. Yeah, I'll just keep those in my inventory for right now. So I can run around looking like a dork. Oh, well, I just remember one thing that... I was hit. I have trouble remembering things, if you couldn't tell. Like how to properly move around in this game. But uh, I was going to make myself a full suit of armor. But I suppose this venture is just about uh, harvesting those resources now. I don't have to summon and fight the boss there. I can make a special arena later on for that. Right now it's just gathering the resources to kill him a bunch of times. But I'm gonna have to make like multiple layers of dirt for the uh, mushrooms to spawn in. Oh, he's still sitting out here. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the tavern keeper from uh, Dungeon Defenders. Yeah. And he sells the Eternia Crystal and the Eternia Gem so that you can set up an arena platform area to, uh, I guess, start a very simplistic tower defense event where there's two portals on each side of the platform area, like 63 blocks away, I think, is where they spawn. And, yeah, you have to, uh, defend the Attorney of Crystal. Nothing special. I wonder if you get the full raincoat suit. Um, if it has a benefit to moving through blizzards and 
snowstorms and all that stuff. Sandstorms, I mean. Blizzards and snowstorms are pretty much the same thing. As far as I know, I live in California. We don't get snow down here. Up in the mountains, yeah, but... If we get any snow, it never sticks. It's so sad. Especially since I... I was born in Washington, so... I've never really liked California. It's so hot and... Well, it's a desert. It's not fun. I do want to explore to the uh, meteor crash site as well and see if I can harvest all of that. I don't know if the uh, demonite armor set or the meteorite arm, uh, meteor, meteorite, I don't know. I don't know which armor set's better. Which has a uh, better uh, mm -mm, bonus full stat, full suit stat. That was loud. Jesus. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. But there's a uh, equipment bonus if you have the uh, full set of armor. I don't know what the meteor, uh, meteorite or the um, demonite bonuses are. Where did I put the? There they are. Okay. So let's see, how am I going to do this? I want to... Well, that didn't work. Oh, Jesus, and they do a lot of damage. It's like the first time one of those meteorite head things ever hit me. Yeah, meteorite heads. I really don't want to have to mine all of this. Ouch, okay. And I died right when that blew up. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Why didn't I have my health potions on my hotbar? I uh, auto-filtered them somewhere. Crap. Well, um, this gives me the opportunity to make that full armor set now. Might as well do that, so that kind of stuff doesn't happen again, which it undoubtedly will. Um, demon bell. That's a tungsten bell. Does that require? No, that does not require any of those scales. Okay, what is this? Set bonus, 15% increased movement speed. That is nothing compared to, uh, um, crap. Nothing compared to the, uh, Crimsonite armor set, I guess is what it's called. <laughs> okay, let's put... I think I put the crown down there. Uh, I'm willing to sell that, that. I want to put the die in that chest. I'll take that off. I'm actually going to
Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. Looks a little tacky, but not terrible. And yeah, when I go find someone to sell this crap to, I don't know if it matters who you sell your items to. I've never bothered to look. If you know, let me know. The movement speed should help me get back, though, at the very least. And I uh, filtered the bottle. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. I can come back and make the vial powder. this whole place up. Not that light actually prevents anything from spawning like Minecraft, unfortunately, but I suppose that'd be a little too easy. I think the only way to fully get enemies to stop spawning is you need a uh, full wall, background wall. Um, and it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. You have to have like a roof on it. Uh, like if I open up any space on this structure, like if I got rid of those floors and I only had a wall up to here, but you know, those floors weren't there, so no one, you'd think no one could spawn up there, but. Like, if you get far enough away, it doesn't matter if there's a wall right here or up there. If there's any gap, they'll spawn right here no matter what. And it's not considered an enclosed structure. So that's pretty much the only way around it that I'm aware of. Every time I die, I get a wave of regret of moving. Especially since all the crap that I went through to do that. Not that it wasn't that bad. Oh, I didn't know there was a rain hat. I thought the uh, umbrella hat was the companion item to that gear. Or at least the blizzard's on my side this time around. Ouch. Go away, Zambos. I can't see shit. what a blizzard in Minecraft would look like. So I know they have regular snow and that already can make it difficult to see sometimes. Although I haven't played Minecraft in pretty much since like my last Minecraft video, which is another series that I completely just abruptly stopped. Because I do that. And I hate being able to say that I do that and be serious. Okay, so... I want to try going back to the meteor area. And I never brought healing potions with me because I am an idiot. Nice. Well, hopefully this armor will protect me enough so that uh, it doesn't matter how much of an idiot I am. I can 
at least someone manage it, hopefully. At least I'm getting all these stars, which may or may not be useful in the future. Okay. That helped a little bit, not enough. <laughs> Crap, where did I put my uh, vile thorn? I need that instead of my yo yo out. The yo yo can't hit through walls, but the vile thorn can. Oh boy. Um, pop that one. Oh, come on, a goblin army. Son of a bitch. A lot of the events in this game like to happen at the worst time, and I'm an idiot. Oh boy. Well, at least I was able to get myself out of that one. Uh, let's see here, meteorite bar. Two, seven, oh wait, lead? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I fucked that up too. Oh, come on. What is wrong with me? Okay, six, seven, six. Five, six, five. Okay, so they're not that great. This ammo buff will actually be useful. I'm gonna clear out this goblin army and then I'll end the video after this because it's been interesting to say the least. so useful. This goes through at least like two enemies, I think. Doesn't go through walls. Thankfully the goblin army is pretty much always easy to deal with. The very first time that I had to deal with it, I was not prepared. I had no idea at all what I was doing. Now I only know a little bit more about what I'm doing. And it is already a lot easier. Wow, two harpoons. Oh 
Honestly, not that good. I mean, could be worse, that's for sure. But it could also be better. Jungle grass scenes, it's always nice. Sixty four per cent complete. <laughs> I cast gun. I like how in the dungeon. In this game, there's just a straight up, like, I don't know what gun it's modeled after, but it's just a straight up modern pistol. Doesn't belong in this game, but that's what's so great about it. A game of sorcery and absurdity. You can just take out a gun and start blasting people. Like, a musket is one thing, but <laughs> it's just straight up. Ah. It's wonderful. Ah, ouchie. Stop that. Ninety-six. Only four more percent to go. Seems like every kill is a percentage. Okay. So I have some items to sell from that. Oh boy. Okay, so we want to keep the rain hat. I'm willing to sell that. That. The two harpoons, neither of those. The hook can be used. Um, don't care about the spiky balls. Yep, that's fine. So all of that, okay. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it relaxing. Thank you very much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.